Millions of people around the world have recovered from COVID-19 and one of their primary concerns is whether they can get reinfected by the novel coronavirus. Have they developed immunity and if so for how long? In a recent development, researchers in Hong Kong reported the first confirmed case of COVID-19 reinfection. A 33-year-old Chinese man was found carrying the disease four and a half months after recovering from the first infection. Similar cases of reinfection were reported in close succession in Belgium and Netherlands and in the United States, a case of presumed reinfection was reported. Showing that the immunity developed after contracting the disease once may not be long-lasting. Indian states like Telangana, Karnataka, Gujarat, Punjab and Maharashtra have also reported cases of reinfection. The CDC had previously acknowledged that there had been instances in which people had tested positive again after having recovered from the disease once, but said that it could be because of persistent viral shedding. Recovered patients can have low levels of virus for up to three months after the infection, and though it is no longer enough to make the person sick or transmit the disease to others, it can get detected in diagnostic tests. Scientists have confirmed that the case of the 33-year-old Chinese person is indeed one of reinfection and not of traces of virus from the previous infection getting detected again. In fact, the case for reinfection is not being made on the basis of results of a diagnostic test. On comparing genome sequences extracted from viral specimens collected from the same patient during the first and second infections, it was found that the person had been infected with two different variants of the novel coronavirus. Viruses mutate with time, developing small differences in their genetic makeup. This enables researchers to trace the origins of the infection and the possible routes through which it has been circulating. In this person, the variant of virus extracted the second time resembled closely to those in circulation in Europe in July and August. That could possibly mean that he had been reinfected when he travelled to Spain after recovering from the first infection. He had tested positive while being screened at the airport on his return. In the case of the reinfection in the US too, researchers in Nevada found that the patient had been infected with two different strains of the virus during his two infection cycles. The fact that reinfection has been confirmed has not come as a surprise to scientists. Other viruses, including those from the coronavirus family, especially those that cause respiratory illnesses, infect a large number of people every year and those who have been infected once are not considered immune from them. There is no reason to believe why SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19 disease, would be any different. But these first cases of reinfection do not mean that everyone is equally susceptible to reinfection. The Hong Kong researchers noted that in the Chinese patient, the disease was found to be milder in reinfection as compared to the first infection. Because a reinfection would happen only from the different variants of the virus that are currently in circulation and most of the vaccines being developed are meant to provide protection against all the variants of the virus, there is no reason to question the effectiveness of these vaccines. <laughs>